whole lot of Playboy Cardi, a whole lot of red, 25th of December. Okay, so I don't, don't really care. Are you are you part of this PR team? Nah, not even just the fact that Kanye is obviously executive producing it. There's been like a lot of hype. It's been a while since Cardi has dropped. Do you know what I mean? Like it's supposed to be very groundbreaking, all that kind of stuff. Like I just thought maybe you guys have you know been you know looking at it as well. Oh me, yeah, I'm not a Cardi fan. Like I don't I I'll need you to first sample and then as you do normally you let me know the mad tracks and then and then Fresh always bumps all these things with just a yeah, typical I listen to you know, like so like everything is upside down crosses, satanic, all that kind of like dude, like it's not even original anymore. It's just getting annoying. It's boring. What's not original? Like yeah. fair enough, is that if that's what do you but at the same time like like make it like not the same P like yeah Lil's verse we're giving them upside down crosses for how long like it's just all like nah no hmm. crazy so are you saying all these new gen guys that are you basically you're basically saying they're all the same I'm uh, saying just trying to do it differently so how how, how would you do it yeah. differently do something different. That's what I'm trying to say. Do something different, fair. So for me, that's the reason why, like, I don't like. I don't need like listen to like the best out of their batch. I, I don't do upside down crosses, so I don't know now. <laughs> I feel like right now there are like four new waves, right? So there's <laughs> Cardi and all those guys that sound like him. Then there's all them. The baby black youngsters, kind of like funny, aggressive type guys that have given us hits consistently. Then you don't have the guys like Jack Harlow, man, who just come calm, mad jams, rapping. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like Jack Harlow is not spoken of like about enough, man. I don't think he's that good though, personally. Fire. Yeah, have you seen all his freestyles? He's such a good rapper. That's what that's it. That's literally it. That's what I'm gonna I say. His album's full of hits. Right, and like, so, okay. he'll be able to switch it up. He makes second, hits, bro. Second. So what's the, I don't think he'll be able to switch it up. One second, bias. So what's the fourth wave? You mentioned three. Oh, fourth wave is now like the girls, city girls, this one, so all the babes, mad them for sure. Those are the four ways as far as new school, in my opinion. Fair. Sure. I agree. Completely agree. And if you if you had to pick one to participate in, which one would it be? Definitely gonna be rocking with those girls. Um, <laughs> I think I might be on that whole like the baby black youngster vibe because like those guys, man, without a hit, their personalities, man, is ridiculous. Fair. No, you only have you only you only you know that thing fifty always says, man. You only have one time to make the first impression, right? Oh. And like black youngster, I would never have thought I would actually press play on any of his music. But based off of like the one song I first heard and like seeing him on Instagram, just like I must check it every time he drops. Same thing with the baby. Just their presence is just ridiculous, man. Like those guys are actually performers, like they're actors, man. <laughs> but as far as bias, you're saying that Jack Harlow can't switch it up, yeah. And you think all them Carti them have been sounding the same for six years. Yeah, but they come with a different theme. Like Cardinals, and it's like I'm a like vampire kind of guy. Yeah, like, Scott, Jack, Harlow, this is about the music. This is about the music. Yeah, but that, everything, that everything, everything meshes. Like I'm telling you for a fact, yeah. Jack Carlo gives you a type of flow on a type of beat. Yeah, that can only last so long for me personally. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, but when 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 you're signed to a producer. And to a big label. He's better than Ross. Can I have better than Ross? Of course not. Exactly. That's, what like. That's what I want to know. That's what better than Ross. Ross is the second best artist in the game right now. Ross is the exactly. best rapper because outside. Ross can, Ross can switch it up, give you different themes, give you different energies. He's going to say, I'm going to do a cypher type of album. I'm going to do a singing stuff. I'm going to Ross go. is definitely more versatile, for sure. Exactly. And you have to be versatile. Like, even the, like, the best... Are always they can always do different things. And as we were saying earlier on about Drake, I can, I can do everything at a very yeah, high level. I wouldn't say Kendrick is versatile. He's one of the best. Yo, Kendrick is the most versatile out of all of them. Oh, 
Kendrick has the well, same because it's because because basically you have different presets and all that. How does that make sense? He's the most eclectic. He can give you, you can know give you when Kendrick comes on, you can predict his flow. Mad City is different to some paper butterfly that is different to damn that is different mm. to the alternative album. So that's it. So we're talking about yeah, they are obviously all can you say that but... they'll come for you on the streets. No, I love it. This I love what's going think, on right now. I'm enjoying it. Please be giving them. Yeah, definitely, I, I definitely disagree. I think Kendrick and Cole are so predictable, and they are definitely one of the best. Oh my days! Cole is still boring in 2020. <sighs> Guys, I can't, oh wow! I think Drake might be one of the only versatile rappers, like proper. Okay, so tell me, like, tell me why you think, okay, J. Cole, I can literally tell you that since he started, he started giving them can't get enough, can't get enough, sw- switching up to things that, like, even, even going back to um, Friday Night Lights, like, too deep for the intro, like, very conscious, and then he can give you, like, a conscious, like, turn up, like, um, no, Canada, 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 Canada not- like, too many things. Uh, obviously, obviously, every artist can do different things. Those are all themes and topics to rap about. Doesn't mean like your flow yeah, and your delivery. Is different. Different. Like, from like Kendrick, from having the high top to the braids to sort of like like homeless look. J Cole from the low cuts, you know, basketball look back in like 2008 nines to the super dreaded dude. Like dude, impossible. These that, are I want to put that on that versatility. Cool. Everyone changes. Everyone changes like that. Facts, but at the same time, like, that's what I'm saying, but the whole topic was about how Jack Harlow and all this I'm talking about how they sound the same. I'm saying that they all sound the same. So I'm talking about just Sonic. If I listen to a J. Cole song from 2016, I know he has that custom flow and pocket that he's going to give me in 2020. (laughs) Okay, can can I ask you a question? Yeah. Okay, are you talking more about J. Cole or Kendrick, first of all? Even both, even both. Like, trust okay, me, so let me say something here. Kendrick won me with Kendrick won me with Dash. Fresh. Fresh. Yeah. Maybe maybe pick one. Because you're gonna pick two. The tougher argument. Okay, but... I'm saying that from damn to to pimp a butterfly, the themes were very different. It's actually yeah. Mad City to pimp a butterfly than to damn. Okay, I only, I only listened to um, Pimp Butterfly and Dan. I didn't listen to Good King Mad City actually. That's so disrespectful. Oh, okay, damn, we can't have this I've never heard that album. We can't have this conversation. Okay, we can't. Okay, we'll have when I when I heard the album. Exactly. I just think I I think that Kendrick, yeah, he'll have different things he's talking about, but yeah. his flow is literally so predictable. It doesn't mean he's not yeah, good. Give me an example. He's gonna do that whole I'm gonna get that 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 in um, nine out of ten times. He's giving you that flow. He's giving you that thing where he's changing his pitch here and there, bro. It's this, I'm telling you, Toby, think about oh, it. God. I disagree, Sha. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that I heard, like, like Good Kid Mad City with songs like Poetic that? Justice that gives you like a slower Kendrick flow. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I can say. But, but Fresh, wouldn't you be able to say that about anyone? Once you've mastered your sound and who you are, surely you can say if I no, say. No, you can't, you can't, because that's why Drake is literally like one of the best. Because that's what I'm saying. Drake is one of the only ones that literally switches up all the time. No, no, I think you guys. Are I never know how Drake is going to start or end a verse. Never. For bias, I think it's talking about two different things. Because okay. if you're talking, talking, talking about Drake, Drake is just a unicorn, like like you've said, yeah. yeah. So boom. But then if you're talking about <clears throat> someone being predictable or whatever, you can say that about anyone. If I said how do you think Snoop Dogg is going to hop on this track? You already know, like, the cadence. If I said Jay-Z, you know the cadence. If I said Meek Mill, you can already predict a cadence of how, do you know what I mean, of how he would rap. So you can say that about anybody, like, once once you know, like, what they do. So I kind of feel like you guys are talking about two different things. Because even Drake, yeah, yeah, Drake, you know, you never know how he's going to come. But you can also do a parody on Drake. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? That's the one thing. We haven't in like two years now. What'd you say? We haven't heard like a Kendrick album in like two years, right? Yeah. So like that's kind of a fair. Yeah. Doesn't switch up because we like we haven't heard him for two years, dude. Like, oh, crazy. So, so, so fresh. Just summarize your point, like, because my point originally was about how 
this is the first time oh, again. Floor is the same. Hello, and I'm saying that I'd rather be listening to ja uh, Jack Harlow than all them Uzi Vert them because from what I've heard from those guys, it seems like they've been sounding the same since they all came out with ASAP Mob them like six years ago. I might be out of touch. I think I'm out of touch right now. I think I'm out <laughs> to dye my hair and paint my nails and all that. No, so wait, are you throwing shit? What do you mean about dye your hair and paint your nails? No, so that's one of the ways of staying young in, in, in today's world. In today's yeah. world. If you don't, you know, you, you rarely find everyone that's like really hip right now has like colorful hair, colorful nails, or a like very unique or a hairstyle that stands out or something like, do you get what I'm saying? I don't have tattoos. I don't, I but, get like Manny and Petty every other week. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I don't even be. <laughs> so, but yeah, look, I feel that way, man. Look at Nick smiling. No, no I, I don't think that's true, though. No, because like, Bias, Bias, yeah, Bias doesn't have any. Bias doesn't have any. Bias doesn't have any, but how Bias stays young is that Bias always new on the new releases from new gen. At least you don't, I don't even listen to them. So if you're, uh, Bias is up on the, from the fashion side, like Bias knows the new trends. I'm still wearing my same straight black jeans. Still, I'm well, not saying that. Because huh? DRB is what? DRB is like new gen. And you guys look. We're not wow, new gen anymore. Bias, 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 chill. We're not new bias, gen. Bias, you guys are pushing DRB. No, 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 you're not new gen. You guys are pioneers. My pioneers, pioneers. <laughs> and obviously, you like, sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. Pioneers, but you guys still look like him. We look here because like what you what you guys, you guys no. mean the collective or them individually? Because Fresh is telling you that he's still wearing his straight jeans. Because I've been true to myself the whole time. Wait, when, you, when you see all of them together, they look they look hip like for sure. Yeah, we don't look washed out or out of touch for sure. I call. No, I'm saying we definitely don't look that, but I'm just saying, like, you know, a 16-year-old guy wouldn't see me and say, Oh, fresh is lit. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> I'm just being true. I'm just being true. Oh, you know, think about it um, because obviously they associate being lit with like all these things that are happening right now that I just listed. You understand what I'm saying? So what are the things you listed? List them again. Nails, your hairstyle, whether it's colorful or something, braids, dreads, um, tattoos. Tats. I'll say yeah, definitely tattoos. I'll say even just like new um, like accessories, like the whole pouch thing. Like I said chokers all that like that's that's definitely like the new school thing that all the young guys are doing so am i am i lit okay it's 16 old to see you and say you're lit have beads in your hair you're giving them choker you have tats yeah you're lit oh my god i'm crazy the, the real thing actually a real thing when, when bias is the littest guy here me i'm a <laughs> in, i'm an introvert if you're just about our parents, you appear to be lit. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, so it's a real thing. Nothing actually affects music, like it affects music. So basically, I should drop a banger. Bruh, you gotta do it. You blow. The Alternative Network.